Your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson has been around black YouTube for about a decade. I've seen a lot of people come. I've seen them go. I was here when the Manosphere was the hot thing. I was here when the Manosphere died. But one thing that stayed consistent was the get the bag chicks. Now the get the bag chicks were very many, but the main one was this chick by the name of Shira Seven, okay? She's a lady that comes out of the Houston, Texas area. I don't know if she was born there or raised there, but she lives there now. And she had a lot of female followers teaching them how to get the bag. And in fact, she had a saying or a ad lib that she would use after telling people how to get money from these dudes. She would say, sprinkle, sprinkle. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Ladies, if you have to make excuses for your men instead of bragging on them, you got the wrong one, okay? You need to wake up. You shouldn't have to make excuses every time someone asks you about your man and your relationship status and your financial status and all this kind of stuff. That is not how it goes. If you have a man, a grown man that you're sleeping with, all you should be able to do is brag on him about how he did this for you, how he's helping you do that, how he makes you feel so good, how he does this for you, how he makes you feel like you're the best woman ever. That's all you should be talking about. You should be making excuses for him. Like, well, he didn't come home last night because of this. Or, well, he's having a hard time right now and because of this. And, well, he said he was going to do this. Okay, well, that sounds like a bunch of excuses and, like, your man don't even like you. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Now, Shira Seven also had students who became quite popular. One of them was Michaela Pink. She was another sprinkle, sprinkle legend that was real close to Shira Seven. The only problem was, well, Michaela Pink had this happen. And once I used my concealer, Nikki Lynn Fox promoted herself as a style and relationship expert on YouTube. But prosecutors say she can now add a new title to that, a professional scammer. After first being indicted a year ago, Fox pled guilty and was sentenced today to five years in prison. Prosecutors say she conned at least eight victims into making real estate investments with her. She really presents well. She's fun somewhat funny. She's very very attractive when she does her makeup and her hair. She dresses the part, she's articulate, she talks the talk. They say she either gained their trust through her YouTube videos or after meeting the victims in real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. Yeah, she took that sprinkle sprinkle shit too far and got locked up, won't let her out. Won't let her out. Fast forward! So a lot of dudes wasn't really feeling that. You know, a lot of entitled women, you know, things like Shira Seven was saying was ridiculous. Then you had other chicks just randomly on TikTok saying stuff like this. So I just tested Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle's advice. In short, it worked. Shira Seven said, when you go out, go out by yourself. I did. I went to the happy hour at a very wealthy, predominant place in Philadelphia. I went to the Four Seasons, JG Sky High to be exact, at the time that she said, which is earlier than later. Literally, those men in there were on me like I was honey and they were bees. Now, she said to go by yourself because there were other girls that came as a group that was trying to do the same thing, baby. They didn't pay them no mind because that's intimidating. They didn't want to go up there to seven girls and then get let down. But me sitting at the bar by myself, whether you are just networking or going out there to freestyle, you need to get out your comfort zone and go to these happy hours and these places by yourself. I literally made connects with three people and my tab was paid. So there was literally nothing that I lost in this experience. Sprinkle, sprinkle, ladies. Now keep in mind, she was seven. Her content was so strong. She wasn't even on TikTok. People were taking her clips on YouTube and going over to TikTok. There are even chicks in Africa saying sprinkle, sprinkle, having no idea where the hell it came from. And it made a lot of guys on social media uneasy. They were like, wait a minute, all these women are demanding that we do all these things for, for them for nothing. Like, what, what's wrong with them? They want us to take care of them, spend all this money on them, but they're not offering anything. It's unrealistic. And it's true. It is unrealistic as hell. Then it came something else down the pike 
A few months ago, you started hearing about it, the soft guy era. And clips like this kind of explain the soft guy era. Your boy just entered his soft guy era, drizzle drizzle. So I'm showing you fellas what not to do, so you could be in your soft guy era too. First things first, no more gifts. None of that cute shit. Remember, we're the catch. One exception for a gift is a camera. Flip the script and make her take a thousand pictures of you. And don't like a single one. Definitely do not buy flowers. If you happen to already buy some, make sure she's building you a garden. Please remember, this is a video with with paid actors that is not me here's a tip buy yourself flowers and make her feel bad for not buying you any and don't let a woman call you feminine or sassy no money on you done you get her out of here this is not an era this is a lifestyle so take pictures to remember this day that i am now your passenger prince drizzle drizzle every haircut will be paid for drizzle drizzle that bill on the table you got it drizzle and do not i repeat do not ask her to be your girlfriend she has to ask you it's basically a copy and paste same thing from shira seven now you might take it as a joke and it's funny, but it ain't funny. It's what a lot of guys feel in today's world. You can do it, so can I. You want me to take care of you? <laughs> nah, I want you to take care of me. And certain chicks got mad when they heard black men talking about the soft guy era. Hey, what's up y'all? So you know, every time I get on this app, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from you men. I don't know any of you all, but now y'all want to start this uh, soft guy era, this drizzle drizzle movement, right? Listen, any man that's comfortable with the woman coming out of her purse or her pocket spending money on you, understand is you will do the same with a man. A lot of these men ladies are just down low. They just too insecure to come out the closet. You know, because this whole movement is perpetuated by them not really being, you know, for them being in their feminine energy, for them not wanting to be a lead with masculine energy. Because when you're in your masculine energy, there comes responsibility. You don't want the responsibility. So you want to go in your female energy, your feminine energy, talking about you want to live a soft life. You a man. But a lot of you males don't really want the responsibility. So now you want to flip it and try to gaslight women into believing that they supposed to pay your way. Understand it's the same thing that these men are trying to get women to do for them. They will allow a man to do it for the right price. Now that particular chick is a hater. I'm going to get on her on a separate video. She's an older boss chick wearing all these little fake ass furs and stuff. I'm going to get her later, but I, I ain't going to lie. She, I probably would talk to her on the low. You know what I mean? She is kind of cute though. I ain't going to lie, boo. Yeah, you know, rub them kneecaps. But like I was saying, she has a history of hating on black men in general. Dealing with black men, especially nowadays, is like shopping at Anvets. It's like getting something from the thrift store. You might find something decent, but you definitely got to take it home and wash it and clean it up before you wear it. And it might not even look the same after you do that. That's just how it is out here for us black women dating black men. They look at you as an opportunity. If a man sit up there and tell you that he is the prize or if he acts like he is the prize, he is a gigolo. He sells. You know what I mean? And there are women out here that are buy it. There are women out here that take care of men. I have never been that type of woman, nor will I ever be. I would rather be alone by myself than have to pay for a man's time and attention. I don't want no Andrew Cunanan man. But a lot of these men will watch women, especially on social media, just to see how they live and how they move, what they dress like. And they'll go after that specific woman because they look at her as a come up. You can't come up off of me. That just is not going to happen. So this lady actually makes the most sense. She's a married lady. And what she's going to say is going to be shocking. All right, ladies. The men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. At the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man. Those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay. They said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. 
So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Drizzle, drizzle. See, a lot of these ladies don't wanna admit they caused the soft guy era to happen themselves. Now, am I a soft guy? I'm way too ugly to be a soft guy. All right. I'm a hard guy and I like tricking too much to be a soft guy. Even if I was younger and I wasn't like 85 years old, I, I wouldn't want to be a soft guy. I, I like tricking too much. I'm not going to stop tricking. And as soon as I re stop recording this video, I'm going to go in there and have a dream about tricking on somebody. So I can't stop. But the reality is, is that, you know, a lot of men don't come up like I came up. You know, my dad and my grandfather taught me that I needed to be a man to take care of women and you take pride in taking care of women. But the guys in this generation are looking for equality. And if, hey, they're less sympathetic of women than a lot of older guys like I am and guys older than me. So a lot of the women are competing with men who want equality, that want to go 50-50. And that's kind of what society is telling these guys, like, look, these women need to pay too. Like, I don't want to pay for them. What am I getting? And I'm paying for them. Like, no, I want you to pay for me. And if you can't, somebody else will. The soft guy era is just a response to what women have always been doing and getting the bag. And to be honest, I think it's funny. Some guys are doing it as a joke, but I think it's funny. And a lot of clips that are coming out with a lot of black men interracially dating, a lot of black men looking at dating other ladies out there who are more you know, willing to give some money, it's gonna be a lot of competition in the field and, and let the survivors win. The situations with some of the women out there that have a problem with the so-called soft guy era, and when you're talking bad on black men, it just means that nobody wants to date you that got money. You see, if you are a woman that is worth your weight in gold, you don't worry about the soft guy era because the soft guys won't come towards you. You'll get a guy that wants to take care of you. And there's still plenty of men that will do that for the right woman, if you're the right woman. Which ladies that have the attitude like the one that I just talked about there, this older chick here, nobody's touching that, all right? I'm gonna be real, nobody wants to. And she she is a nice looking MILF too. I would take her to Chuck E. Cheese for sure. But with the attitude, hell no, not long term. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Fair Use. I'm out.